Welcome to our final video of St. Augustine. Today we will be going around to some of our favorite shops and checking out what they have to offer. Grab your wallet and come along. Our first stop is Gator Bob's Trading Post. This place offers a wide variety of souvenirs. Everybody makes their own hot sauce in Florida. Just in case you want to look like an inmate. Our second stop is the Spice and Tea Exchange. There are 62 stores nationwide. We love to stop at these stores and check out all the different spices. What is unique about this store is that it is located in an old house. There are two locations in St. Augustine. This one is near the old jail. Is this how you make mull wine? Yeah. So do you just add it to what kind of wine? Uh, to usually a red wine, but it's up to you. A red wine? Okay. Oh, are you let's, interested? Yeah, let's get that. We'll make our own mulled wine since we've never had it. Our third stop is Whetstone Chocolate. They offer tasting tours here, but you need a reservation. They have three locations in St. Augustine and have been in business since the 60s. We're at the Whetstone Chocolates of St. Augustine. Looks like they serve coffee, smoothies, chocolates, and gelatos. Go check it out. Check it out. You have to make a reservation for a tour. Okay. So, next time. Yeah, next time we'll have to remember. But they do have a shop. <laughs> Our fourth stop is Kilwins. There are 140 locations across the United States. Okay, so we're at Kilwin, Kilwins, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, they make all kinds of yeah, stuff Kilwins. like chocolate fudge. You can get ice cream here too, it's a little cold for that. But they make really good fudge, so that's what we're gonna go do. So let's go inside and check the place out. We 
got a fudge and it was a buy two slice get one slice free so we have a few different flavors in here what flavors do we get we got german chocolate salted caramel salted caramel and double dark chocolate. and double double what double dark chocolate double dark chocolate yeah so yum, yum. Our fifth stop on our tour is a place called Cousteau's Waffle and Milkshake Bar. Hey, we're in front of the Cousteau's Waffle and Milkshake Bar. We're gonna actually try a couple of these things and see how they taste. This place is named after the famous explorer Jacques Cousteau and offers milkshakes and waffles. Said, that looks like a man who's really happy for her uh, waffles and milkshake. Two unpaid interns, and it's not what it sounds like. Uh, it's actually their place, not their land, but their base of uh, Belgian waffles. Yeah. Um, and we also ordered two sunnies, which was uh, chocolate milkshake. Chocolate milkshake. So yeah, and we're we're having a very bland night. And Air Kentucky. And Air Kentucky, which, which is a butter pecan milkshake. Oh, this is good. Is it good? What's that called? This was the Sunny, which was the chocolate milkshake. Yeah, yeah, it's very basic, but I'll tell you what, it's a really good chocolate milkshake. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. How's yours? Yours is the what? Um, it is the Air Kentucky. Air Kentucky? Yeah, which is like a maple syrup uh, butter oh, okay. pecan. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, you don't got enough road to do 88. Yeah? And Nicole is about to try the unpaid intern. So this is the unpaid intern. It's just waffles with some powdered sugar and some whipped cream. Mm. It, it's a cute name. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming it's a, a waffle that hasn't uh, made its full uh, professional status. They're learning to be waffles. It's nice, it's warm, and sweet. I yeah. Think, I think it's good, yeah. Good. I definitely this with a milkshake very good <laughs> a hot and cold mix too right right definitely awesome so it's really cool it's all waffles and ice cream or milkshakes i mean you can't go wrong with mixing them together right right so, definitely. waffles aren't just for breakfast yeah so if you're definitely on hippolyta street it's in a little nook in the middle of hippolyta street but i would definitely come down here it looks like there's some restaurants down here to eat too um, as you can hear, people are having a really good time. Yep, that's coming over from this place over here. Cute though. Yeah, so definitely come down this street and just look for different restaurants because they got all kinds of different things on this street. Our sixth stop is Colonel Poppers. We're in front of Colonel Poppers and we're about to go inside and see what they have to sell. and. Uh, it's supposed to be some pretty good snacks. Popcorn? They offer gourmet popcorn and only use the best ingredients. So they have so many different flavors of popcorn here. I mean, there's cheese, there's gourmet, you can get chocolate popcorn, um, just a bunch of different popcorns. And if you look Colonel Poppers online, they'll actually deliver to your house too, so check that out. We'll put a link below and then you can find them. Um, pretty good price. You can get little small, you can get kitty size, small, medium, large. It looks like they got an extra large and a party size, so whatever you feel like getting, you can get here. So check it out. Our seventh stop is Palindaba Lavender. This place sells all kinds of stuff made from handcrafted organic lavender. So we got 
have a bunch of goodies at the Linda Lavender um, area. It's off of um, Hippolyta Street. Really cool. They have so much stuff. So we got some lavender lemonade. We got some spray for your lemon. And we also got some massage oil. So I would definitely check them out. It was all super cheap. You know, this cost like 40 bucks for all this right here. So definitely check them out because this is a really cool place to stop. Number eight on our list is the Pepper Palace. They have 39 locations through the U.S. and Canada. This place lets you sample hot sauces before you buy them. Okay, so we stopped at the Pepper Palace to pick up our favorite hot sauce, the Castillo del Marco. Um, they said they're sold out, so we're gonna have to wait to order it online, which is actually pepperpalace.com. So uh, I would recommend checking it out if you're a fan of hot sauce. That was one of the best ones we've had here so far. So, but they got plenty here. They do have plenty of other selections, but uh, we like to stick with what we know. Okay, so Pepper Palace came today. Oh man. Our ninth stop is Old Town Jerky. This place offers samples and you can find specialty jerkies. All right, so here we are at the Old Town Jerky and it's a, it's a beef jerky place in uh, St. Augustine. So why, are, why are we here? Uh, we're gonna pick up some beef jerkies. And you've been asking for it the whole trip? Yes. Because it's your favorite? Yep. <laughs> been Let's waiting. check it out. We got the natural beef jerky. Uh huh. What up? The teriyaki beef brisket turkey. Oh, okay. And what else? Jerky. Jerky, yeah. Our other son got the mako. Yep. And what else? And we got another teriyaki. Teriyaki. Yeah. So, I handed you the wrong one. Does that look good? <laughs> wow, well, that's fine. <laughs> Are you excited? Mm hmm. So this is what we got on our shopping travels. As you can see, we got the, the jerky, the popcorn. We got some alcohol. Nico, um, Nikolai got uh, a little music box. We got little trinkets we like to buy, like shot glasses and magnets every time we go to places. And of course, you got your bottle opener, some orange chocolate. And then we actually got some of these little spices from the spice place. You got your chocolates. And a little ornament for the tree, a little alligator for my nephew. Um, you got your lavender stuff. And the distillery gives you a free bottle of hand sanitizer, so that's pretty good. And then you got fudge. It was buy two, get one free. So we're gonna enjoy all this good stuff. And definitely, if you come to, to St. Augustine's, you're gonna need a lot of money because you're gonna wanna buy a lot of stuff. Unfortunately, some of the places that we did want to go to, um, they didn't have what we wanted. Or they were closed. Or they were closed due to COVID. So 
but this is a good little haul. As you can see, we don't suffer from any type of impulse control. <laughs> we were in perfect control of our spending habits. We yeah. actually we actually planned to buy all this stuff when we came, so. We did. We didn't say we were very thrifty with our money. Well, you're on vacation, yeah. so you should enjoy yourself. <laughs> there were two places we did not get to try, but thought we would give them a shout out. The Hippo offers fresh organic ice pops. The building is very atypical with art displayed around the sitting areas. The other place we did not get to try is Lick It Dole Whip. They offer handcrafted Dole Whip soft serve. We hope you enjoyed our shopping tour in St. Augustine and our other videos of this area. Please look for the links below for each of these stores. Thank you for watching our video. Do not forget to like and subscribe. We will be back to normal in our next video exploring places big and small.